Hello, YouTube world. It's me, Lauren Cadillac uh, of Cadillac Law, and you can go check out my Cadillac Law videos where I teach you about Texas law, estate planning, real estate, the things that like really, really matter that nobody teaches you. So go check that out. Go check out this playlist. Uh, make sure you hit like, subscribe, make a comment, give me algorithms, guys. Work with me here, please. Thank you. Uh, so today and now I just thought, okay, let me share my, um, this isn't going to kill me. I'm not going to die moment. Okay. And this is willpower. When I was 24, I got into my Scion XB with my husband at the time. He got in the driver's seat, I got in the passenger seat, and our son was in the middle in a forward-facing car seat. He was 16 months old. And at that time, it was like 04, so he was totally allowed to sit forward-facing. I guess nowadays they have to sit backwards until they're like 30. <laughs> Poor kids. Uh, but anyhow, so he's in his forward-facing, and that's significant because when our car was hit head on into my seat, my seat, uh, my seat flew backwards. Thank God, because if I hadn't flown away from the impact, I would have died. Um, but that flying backwards cut my son's leg and the impact itself uh, gave him a little break in his arm. Just he was, had little 16 month old bones. So, um, all I remember about that incident, I remember cleaning the house that day. It was a Sunday. I remember I had a new haircut because so I'd gone to see a friend and she worked at the salon. And it wasn't a good haircut, but whatever. Um, and I cleaned the house. I took a few pictures with my son. And then we got in, ready and got in the car to go see grandma who lived, I don't know, like five miles, ten miles north of us on I-35. At the time, they had two-way two -way feeders on the... This is like the dumbest. I'm going to make a sexist joke. What man thought of a two-way feeder? Whatever. The same one that invented maxi pads, I assume. <laughs> okay, so, uh, so my car gets hit head-on. I almost die. The boy has a broken leg and arm. The ex, nothing really happened to him. Um... I'm in the ICU. I guess I was like in a coma. I didn't even know. Like I just found that out two years ago. Nobody told me what happened with this accident. Like I'm just in a bed and my fingers are the size of bratwurst. And look, I have skinny fingers. So these were like the size of bratwurst. And I'm just like, whatever. I don't know what's going on. So all I remember, okay, said hi to the neighbor, got in the car, drove off. And then the next thing I remember is thinking, this is not going to kill me. I am not going to die. This is not going to kill me. I am not going to die. And saying that over and over in my head. I believe now, kind of knowing the facts and everything, that um, while they were using the jaws of life to break open my car to, to pull me out and then helicopter me to the hospital, I was aware um, I have no recollection. Thank you, Lord. Thank God we don't remember pain. Um, but I, I think I was aware. And my son, I mentioned, was 16 months old. And I, I wanted that baby so bad. Okay. Like, I had to sell my ex on having this child. Like, we need a baby. It's so beautiful. Blah, 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 blah. And I did. I sold his ass. And so I love, like, my son, I still, he's 15 and a half. He's a little shit. But I love him. I love my daughter too. So and he's 16 months old. I'm 24 years old. I am not going to die. I did not carry this little fucker in my womb for 10 months just to have some car hit me and make it so I can't see my baby live. That's willpower, guys. I mean, it's just straight up. I'm not going to die. This is not going to kill me. And I just kept repeating it so much so that it's all I remember. I'm not going to die. This isn't going to kill me. I'm not going to die. This isn't going to kill me. Like, I'm not leaving this planet yet.
oh, that's just me not dead, fully alive. So what's my point? Uh, did I willpower myself into living? I think so. Actually, I think in those moments, I had a choice. And, and that choice was let go or hang on. And I did not want to let go. I was not ready. So I decided to hang on. And I made a choice that this is not going to kill me. I'm not going to die. I'm going to see my son grow up. And uh, that's what's happened. So when you want something, when you have a desire for something, when you are, uh, you know, you, you see a house of someone rich and famous on TV and you go, oh, I want that. You can get it. Like, you can manifest it. Now, you're going to have to work hard. I had to work hard to live. I had blood transplants, plasma, all this stuff. Like, I had to work to live. And then I had to work to learn how to walk again. And I had to work to learn how to function again. And then I went to law school like a crazy person. And I had to work at law school. So you have to work. There's no way of getting out of putting in the effort. But what I'm saying is if you set the goal and you say it, I'm, I'm going to have the house like this or I'm going to, my latest thing is by the time I turn 40, I'm going to be a millionaire. And I say it and I work for it. I'm doing it. I'm getting there. I'm doing what it takes to get there. I mean, you can't just say I'm going to be a millionaire and then just like kick back and watch Netflix. You know, you, you, you got to work for it. So tell the universe or God or whatever you believe in, this is what I want. And then set yourself out on that path. You know, when I said, I'm not going to die, this is not going to kill me. I set myself off on a path of like learning how to walk again and doing all this extra work that most people didn't have to do in their lifetime. But it was worth it to me because I get to see my son grow up. And like I said, he's kind of a turd, but oh, I love him. And I, I got a daughter later, you know, like I got a daughter and I became a lawyer and I can go into a courtroom and make objections like they do on TV. I mean, come on, that's fantastic. But all of that was because I chose to do it. I, I said, this is what I want to do. And then I set out and I did it. That's my advice for you today. <laughs> is it advice? I don't know. <laughs> I like talking though. So also I think I'm hilarious. Like I watch some of my videos and I'm like, ah, great joke, Lauren. Great. Ah, ah. Like subscribe. It's free. It helps me. You can ignore me like after that, just, but please do it for me. Have a good one.